Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. So the Los Angeles Dodgers have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little... Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And a good eye there. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Sends it to first. One out in the top of the first. Stone Garrett, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Ground ball right side. Gets it to first. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Joey hey. Manessis in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. They say it went. Two out spaces Go empty. Next oh, offering is down low. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And on the hill here today, Yohan Adon. Chris, he's looking for a bounce back this season. Yeah, really struggled last year, and it was one of those seasons that you just want to flush. But I think you have to remember and take the opportunity when you do struggle to really look yourself in the mirror, identify what went wrong, and make improvements. And I have no doubt that that's what this guy did in the offseason to prepare himself to come back and to be one of the best bounce-back players in the league. We'll see today. We'll have a real opportunity to prove a lot of people wrong. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Gallo in position. And puts the squeeze on that one. And Joey And now it's Luis Garcia. Yeah. And a strike. Glass now measures six feet, eight inches, 225 pounds. And they went out and made a trade. For this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He will score, and the Nats take the lead. 1 0. Here's Lane Thomas. Up and in, and that's ball one. Up the middle, Lux. Throws. Right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. There's the strike at the knees. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. And here's the catcher, Riley Adams. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs with a runner at third. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Muncie makes the catch, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. 
Here's Shohei Otani. And now you're dealing with a player who has won multiple MVPs in his career, Sengi. That one is absolutely belted. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. That one felt good. His 12th of the season. And we're level. It's 1-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, dude. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wynn just absolutely killed it. Fly ball down the line. Garrett makes the grab on the run. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. Outman, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. Warren Burner into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning alive. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Right-hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised no, if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. Get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs. Pitch two misses there. Two, two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball. Rudder goes again. That's the third. Loves it on the dive. Over to first. And get the out. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Glass now back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. execution and it finished up at a perfect spot over to Rojas first two batters perfect. retired here in the top of the third well right now he's thinking man I wish that would have been an off-speed pitch but instead of fastball and you can tell that hurts a little bit Manessis stands in now and watches strike one now this is in the air down the line and that drops foul Garrett leads off first with two down to the inning and a foul ball he stays alive This one chopped up the middle. Out number three. Here's Jason Hayward. The right-hander back to work. Ripped to short. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. What kind of the story of their season so far things just not clicking into place fundamentals on all sides of the ball are lacking and it's tough to win games at this level if you're not playing clean baseball as a team and he dodges that fastball straighten him up a little bit next pitch is outside Hit on the ground might be two. Quick feed to second for one. Relay to first. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. In 
to center and a base hit. And that extends the inning. So digging in, Miguel Rojas. Fly to left his first time. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the. And now it's Joey Gallo. And a strike in there. Well, he's been incredibly efficient this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. That one a little bit high. Now one and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the oh, ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. tell you when he goes to look at the video of that pitch he's going to want to punch himself that slider had hit me ridden all over it and clearly he just got a little too excited it was out in front tell you what when you get a pitch like that you cannot miss it those have a chance to go a long way glass now ready to deals headed down the line and that's a foul ball one down base is empty this to third and he'll be safe at first well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box yeah, yeah. and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Now a chance for Lane Thomas. A dive. He's got it. Freddie Freeman. He'll play first base after the injury. Now playing first base. And that one fouled off. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep it. Up to the dish. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. You know, these Dodgers just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at bat. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Muncie now in the box comes up oh, empty with a swing there. These hitters have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it off. And if you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Nice grab to first. Nicely done for the out. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. This guy's oh, pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And right back to the mound. Slings to first, and they get the out on we go to the top of the fifth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Oh. Riley Adams just missed. Oh, no Adams in his third season, 27 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2017. The 1-1 is fouled off. On a line, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And he'll two. That one out to right. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Fought off foul. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. you got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Throw on to Freeman, and that'll do it. Back here at Chavez Ravine, John Chavez with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, James Outman. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. You know, these Dodgers definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at-bat. They've given away too many at-bats with easy outs. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that could make a big difference in this one. 2-2 Two -two now. Full count. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Kicks and fires. The 3-2 no, no, is no. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And that one fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. Nope. And that's outside. outside. And now it's even one and one. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Two and ball. another ball. Two strikes. Ground ball could be two to second Abrams. Over to first, safe. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 1. First offering, runner goes. Nope. Pitch misses. Throw, save. That's a stolen base. Runner at second here, one gone. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Betts hey. swings through it for strike one. Good oh, pitch right down. there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Fires across the diamond, and Betts is set down. All set for the top of the sixth. And now up for Washington, Joey Manessis. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. The pitch. Down the line, it's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Joey Gallo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. A big swing and a miss. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up tight. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. A massive home run. And they lead it. It's 3-1.
Boog. His plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Garcia in the box now. No balls and a strike. Lifted in the air right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. At the play, Lane Thomas. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Bounced up the middle. What a stop. Fires to first. Not in time. He legs it out. The effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. I mean, you got the diving stop at short, which was outstanding. And how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great baseball at an extremely high level. There's the strike. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Adone back to work. Hammer, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And that one finds its way through. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here is Shohei Otani. That misses the zone. And the count what even one and one. Right through there for a strike. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Good chase that time. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here in the third and final game of the series. Outside, and that is ball four. Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving, and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. Muncie goes after that one oh, for strike one. one. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get outs one hitter at a time. Next Two offering one. way off the plate. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Richard Blyer looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Finnegan getting loose as well. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Pop Wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. In the air, right field. Makes the grab. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. They trail by one. It's 3-2. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Out. Ball and one. The next to hit takes outside. Count one and oh. Throw over to first. No, Back in there standing. fly ball down the left field line 
And that is the inning. Back here in L.A., we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Eight. Victor Robles. Right through there for a strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. Balls it in, and there's one away. And the batter will be the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one to the mound now. They turn to Blake Trinan. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Abrams over at second, one down. Rudder breaks for third. Next offering is foul back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking at the base knock right for you. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. He's safe. Oh, he's in there. Three. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Two outs. That nope. one misses, and the count is one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A run up. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Richard Blyer. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. Down the And now the lefty, the other way. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in and ball four to a board and now it's Mookie Betts pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about 0 for three with three ground outs this nope. is again okay. five in a row well he's already in some trouble and fallen behind in the count makes it even worse then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this so the tying run is second and a count one and two and a swing and a miss and that is a big first out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy. Runner takes off. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Brings it in. And there's two down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Garrett. 
Sizes this one up. He's got it. And the inning is over. Back here with my pal Siggy. We're at the top of the eighth. Up now for Washington, Luis Garcia. Taps softly to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. And the righty deals. That one. Steps on oh. first for the out. So now the DH spot, Lane Thomas. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Trinan, a former All Star, 35 years old, lays out. He's got it. That's what you got to have at the hot corner. Cat like reflexes. Line drive caught by the third baseman as he dives. Terrific play. You'll want. That's inside. inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. Jordan Weems takes Jordan over on the mound. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And that squirts through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And now it's Max Muncy. Corner infielders guarding the lines. Trying to Shohei on the go. 0 oh 1. Trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. And they tag him out. The Nationals trying to protect a two run lead here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. One that one almost one got him. And yeah, the right hander deals. Good chase that time. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was late. Love to see Good it. Ball. Power Good versus strike. power right there. Righty to the plate. Really and that's good. outside. And it's a full count. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Man at first with one gone. Here's the catcher, Will oh. Smith. That's too high. Muncy over at first with one away. And that one fell off. Oh. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. A base hit. Oh, this is off the second base bag. And they get the out after the ricochet. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Garrett going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. 
We go to the ninth, and now up for Washington, Riley Adams Whoa, just down. missed. Right through there for a strike. One and one. On the ground, the first into the outfield base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Throw is wide, and it gets past him at first, and he's going to get to second with nobody out. Here's the center fielder, Victor Robles. First pitch, just misses. Nobody out. So the Nats lineup turns over. Stepping in, C.J. Abrams. And that's in for a strike. In the infield at the corner, oh, don't be down. surprised to see them come home from. On its way to the corner, Hayward on his way over, reaches for it, but it's foul. Nope. Next offering is downstairs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one the other way. And out number one on the grab. Oh, the throw is over his head. Stone Garrett digging, calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. The pitch. That That's one missed. Goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Base knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Hunter Harvey. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And he deals. Not close with that He's one. Right. And that is ball one. Chopped left side. Abrams tosses oh. the first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Swings through that one for strike one. Just amazing one. to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Out to center, Abrams sizing this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging now, back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. Yeah. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. That one ripped. And that is the ball game. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The 